So today um, was the update for the Adobe Reader app for Windows Phone and uh, I'm gonna check it out right now. I just finished downloading it. I read about it in a Windows Phone blog earlier in the week I think. So I'm going to walk through the new features. I haven't tried them out yet. So let's find out what the new features are. I read that one of the features is bookmarking. Um, so um, also I heard or read that the new bookmarking was going to be managed from the acrobat.com website so uh, we'll see we'll see how it how it works out I'm gonna load a book alright uh, this is a PDF I downloaded from the internet continuous pages page scroll so uh, this is the home button this apparently this takes you back to the to the beginning of the app where the list of books are let's see yep takes you back and uh, this little cloud right here is the acrobat.com sign up I think yeah store and access files on all your devices it's easy to store important documents and access them from your computer or mobile device anytime anywhere save and access PDFs and other files so this is uh, a free cloud service I don't think you have to pay anything to save your documents there. Okay, I don't have an Adobe account, so I'm not gonna even try to do it right now because probably have to use your computer, I'm not sure. Sign in. Okay, create an Adobe ID. Alright, so let's try that. Alright, I'm going to type my email address. Hold on one second. Alright, so I enter my email. Now I'm going to type my password. Okay. Retype password. First name. Abraham last name wherever my last name is um, date of birth it's up to you if you want to enter that I'm not sure okay uh, alright so Stay informed via email about Adobe products and services. Sure, why not? Create. Alright, so you're gonna sign in with your new created account. Alright, I'm gonna 
enter my password. Okay, so you need to verify your email address. Okay. Um, yeah, you need to verify first, alright. I'm gonna do it later. See what, what other feature. Share from Acrobat.com requires the file to be shared publicly. By clicking make public, you can authorize the application to share the selected file publicly in order to share a link for the same. You can revoke public sharing from the home screen by clicking make private for this file. So I guess you can share anything, uh, even ebooks. Uh, I'm just gonna click, click make public. All right. So it's gonna want me to sign in. So I'm gonna have to check out the other features. Let's see what is this. We had this before already. You select if you want the continuous scrolling or a single page. The card documents are not editable. We like to make a copy of this document in the application internal storage area and proceed. Yes. So here are the features, editable features, let's see, uh, you can make a note, you can highlight, strike out text and underline, that's actually awesome because I could, I could really use some underlining, let's see. Uh, highlight uh, there's a highlight right there okay. alright strike out let's see nice it's a red color for strike out and uh, this is underline so this is awesome there is no there is no good PDF apps for Windows Phone so far this is the first app that, it, that is incorporating some editing features So, I don't know if you can change the color of the underlining. Probably not. Yeah, you can you can clear it. You can only delete the uh, editing, but um, I don't think you can change the color. <coughs> yeah. All right. Let's see if long press brings anything. No. Alright, let's check out the uh, other features. Uh, so this is the editing. This is probably the search. We, st we had that before. So that 
is probably going to remain the same. Click next. It's a little bit slow with the searching, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so I think that's all the features they, they added so far, and uh, this we had before, it's the chapter hot linking. Chapter 16. Yeah, we had that before, and uh, we had the scroll, scroll search also. We had it before. All right.